Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you Stable Diffusion 3.5 large model. That too, how you can use it in a very low VRAM setting. So I am using the GGUF models. If you have been following me, you know this is what I use with Flux. So CD96 uh, Hugging Face, if you visit there, you can see that the GGUF uh, models have been released. I am using the Q8 version of it. And uh, also my laptop has uh, 8 GB of VRAM, uh, which is RTX 4060. And it is like pretty fast. It takes around one and a half minute to two minutes for the 3.5 large Q8 version. That is 8.78 GB, right? But uh, if you have 6 GB VRAM or less, uh, or you want to reduce the time, you can also go with the Q5 one. Now, everything else is pretty same. You'll get all the download links in the description along with this workflow. But uh, remember, there is one extra uh, clip that we are using from Flux, that is the clip G. So if you go to Stable Diffusion's page, here you can see this, uh, there would be a form here. You just need to fill it and you will get gain access. Here you can see there will be VAE. So you can download this VAE as well as I'll also provide the clip G uh, for link to it, right? So you can download it. Everything else is same. Uh, I'll just explain a little bit about this uh, workflow. The model sampling, the default is three. You can reduce it to 2.75 or 2.5 to get more realistic results. But for me, three works best. In the sampler, you can use Euler, you can use DPM++ 2M. These two work very well, along with SGM Uniform, DDIM Uniform Beta. All of these work. So, uh, I personally find that SGM Uniform works best. This is the setting I'm using. Now, this is a non-distilled model, which means that uh, you can have a higher CFG and you can also have negative prompts, but you can see there is this conditioning that uh, uh, in a very like uh, basic term, SD3 does not like negative prompts, although it can take it. So, even if you are using negative prompts, try to uh like use it as less words as possible so don't uh, overflow it like we used to do in sd excel what it is doing is that it is taking basically up to 10 percent this conditioning and then it is uh, the conditioning zero out is another node that is going from 10 percent to the next 100 percent so next and then these are being combined if you don't think this is working uh, best so you can just try 10% as well. But for me, I have found that uh, negative prompts do not provide like best results all the time. So I, I am like ignoring them for now. You can try that. So this was portrait, a portrait of a woman in red backless dress in a party hall. And I get this image, right? And uh, I think the seed, I just, change it it was not exactly this seed but uh, in one or two generation i got this so this model ha still has that uh, hands problem it does not get hands uh, very well but other than that it is like pretty good model so what i'll do is i'll take another random prompt and i'll show you this is a gorgeous uh, greek woman in swimming pool wet here so let's do that also, like uh, in uh, Stable Diffusion 3.5, I have seen you can use like hashtags as well, like hashtag fashion, stuff like that. So you can try it out. So let's generate. Okay, so you can see this. The quality is not bad. The quality is good. The wet hair and everything. You can see the water drops, uh, everything like that. And it looks uh, good. It uh, really looks good and so let's try something which is uh, of a different style which is not uh, photographic you know so something of a painting and like i had this prompt so i wanted to try this and let's see what comes up Okay, so now you can see that uh, this is the output 
and although it looks pretty good what we can do is that we can actually increase the stylization you know like that painting effect and for this we can increase the cfg to let's say let's try something 5.5 increase it and then see what happens so now uh, this is the output as you can see when it comes to the textures and everything it is pretty good and that too for this dimension it looks pretty good but you can see this like uh, it's lag right also one of these uh, what is this whisker so uh, this is something i have found and uh, maybe the it needs more fine tuning this is a base model and uh, i'll show another example where i'll show that uh, why the hands are still not perfect I actually tried a lot of things but I couldn't get perfect hands. So this would be a close up shot a beautiful woman in her 20s biting an apple. And let's see for this I'll again reduce the CFG to let's make it 3.5. So for 3.5 let's see. So the output is complete and you can see although the image looks good everything right but if you see the coherency of the uh, image like the relation of one piece to another right you can see the hand is not holding the apple how it should hold also the bite marks on the, are on the opposite side so these are very little details which flux actually get right and it doesn't and if you even compare with the model size you know i used the q4 uh, km version of uh, ks version of uh, flux right and this is the q8 version so the q5 version of uh, this ggf is around 6.5 gb which is equivalent to the q4 version of uh, flux it still gets better than stable diffusion 3.5 large and uh, it it is slightly concerning because uh, in the charts that they show they show that the coherency aesthetic uh, benchmarks are actually better than flux and i don't know about it because even with lora i think flux generates better images to see this let's try something else and uh, i can put a portrait shot of a woman in a denim crop top showing hands shot on canon so let's see how uh, it actually shows the hands right let's uh, try to see that so for this output you can see is that uh, although everything else the pro prompt coherence and everything is good i almost can never make the hands to come out as perfect and remember in flux when we use loras the hands get messed up but uh, generally it tend to produce like uh, well defined hands but uh, i am saying that this does not provide like most of the generations which i had did not have good hands so this is kind of a problem other than that uh, i think it is pretty good right so this was uh, stable diffusion 3.5 large also we have a turbo model as well so and you can also find the ggf version for turbo uh, as well you can see it here they have the turbo ones as well so i'll just show one generation with turbo and here you can see this is the turbo model what i'll do is for the steps i'll make it 8 and cfg i'm going to make it 1.2 right and let's give it the same prompt that we use uh, the swimming pool one previously right so let's try this and see how it comes up so the output is here in just 8 steps and for 8 steps this looks good it is not bad but the reason i took this particular prompt is because when you look at underwater right you can see some things that the water level here starts from here but then you can see like the water level changes another thing is that the refraction that is of the light underwater so you know how things uh, see, appear to have like uh, shifted refracted because of the refraction of light here you can see it looks weird 
so it does not look as good as uh, the large model but for like smaller tasks the turbo is pretty good so one important thing that you would have noticed is that uh, flux did not have commercial license the dev one schnell has commercial license uh, but the dev does not have now 3.5 large as well as large turbo both of them stable diffusion has uh, stability ai has provided us with uh, commercial usage so that is pretty good and i hope that in near future it gets fine tuned so that it can be used pretty well for the commercial purposes the only problem which i have with, with this model is that they are still not looking into you know the relation of uh, different items in the image itself so it's one thing to produce a very realistic apple and it's another thing to produce the connection between a person eating that apple where should be the bite mark how a hand actually interacts with holding apple and anything like that so that is something weird to me but other than that it's a pretty good model it's uh, it has just come out like it has been 24 hours so let's see what the community develops we already have ggf so let's see about it and if you have any other kind of doubt or anything just put it in the comment section below and i'll try to reply thank you